North Dakota sophomore Danny Christo. Danny, tell us about the early beginnings of Danny Christo. Um, yeah, you know, I was uh, you know born and raised in Minnesota until I was about six, and then uh, my dad's uh, job transferred to Indiana, so uh, moved there for about nine years, and uh, lucky enough, he got transferred back to Minnesota. So uh, moved back to Minnesota, and I was about in sixth grade, and uh, you know, lived there ever since. Typical hockey uh, background, though. Uh, yeah, my dad played hockey. Uh, he played college hockey at Bemidji State, and after he was done playing, he was coaching, so it was kind of you know, easy for me to pick up the game. Was there any pressure then that, from him to, for um, you to play hockey? No, not too much. I think, uh, you know, he kind of just let me do my own thing, but I think, you know, just when I was little, I was always picking up hockey sticks, and uh, it was just kind of natural for me. Where'd you play down there? What programs? In Minnesota. In the Twin Cities, yeah. Uh, Twin Cities, I, uh, I grew up just playing in, uh, in my hometown, Eden Prairie. Um, always played for them, and then uh, in, in the summer I would play uh, AAA for the Minnesota Blades. So. Hockey's uh, afforded you an opportunity to travel really all over the world, hasn't it? Yeah. Great experience? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really you know, taken me to some neat places. You know, I've been to uh, Russia. That wasn't the, the best experience or food, but um, I've, I've been to Switzerland and uh, Finland and um, Czech Republic, so, you know, places like that, so and it's been really neat. We're finding that more and more people out of uh, southern Minnesota, let's put it that way, are finding mm -hmm. their way to the University of North Dakota. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. You know, I think uh, this program's got so much to offer, and it's just got so much pride and, uh, you know, character. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, a lot of people are just becoming more Sioux fans, even if it is in the Twin Cities area or the Minnesota area. Um, you know, I think it's just really expanding, you know, obviously, you know, you got the North Dakota fans and you know, a lot of the Canadian fans that follow the colleges are always Sioux fans, but I think it's uh, expanding down into the Twin Cities. North Dakota fans, uh, when you got here, did it surprise you, the um, passion? A little bit. Uh, I wasn't actually too surprised because, you know, I've been, I, you know, first time I came here I was in sixth grade and, you know, I kind of saw the whole atmosphere, so kind of knew a little bit what to expect, but it's a little bit different when you're, you know, you're actually playing in the game, you're out there on the route, so, you know, it's always, uh, you know, your first time out there is always a time you'll never forget. Danny, you want to obviously play hockey beyond uh, the University of North Dakota, but what past that when you can't play hockey anymore? Um, yeah, I think uh, hopefully I you know can keep playing hockey, but uh, you know after I'm done playing, I'm going to try to st you know stick in the game. Um, it's probably um, you know the best thing I'm, I'm at in life is hockey, so and even knowledgeable. So you know maybe just being you know maybe a coach or an agent or something along those lines like that. Uh, no, I just love to say, do something that could stay in the game. Danny, influences to, in hockey to, uh, I don't to, you know, maybe push you along a little bit or steer you in the right direction or anything? Um, I think after my fresh, freshman year of high school, I left and went to the, the national team, and I, uh, I played two years there for John Hines, who is now a coach in the AHL. And, uh, you know, he kind of really, uh, you know, turned me around. I think I was a little bit, uh, you know, in shock and awe then. I, you know, he kind of really put me, put me in my place. And... Uh, you know, really, I th thought I really grew up. Um, you know, coming out, coming, coming in there into that program, and uh, you know, really taught me how to work hard and you know, play a two-way game and uh, lots of little things and stuff like that. So, Danny, we enjoy watching you. Best of luck in the future. Thanks for this. Thanks for having me.